Welcome to another video. Today we have a choose your own adventure video um, in honor of the new moon that just passed. I've asked the cards what each group needs to focus on for the new moon that was in Sagittarius this past weekend. Um, so let's get into it. Take a look at the cards, group one, group two, group three. Again, that's group one, two, and three. Get your group in your head. You can skip ahead and get to the group that you chose. Um, and I will leave the timestamps down below. All right, so group one is first. You have the Five of Cups. So with this new moon, we have finally mourned, um, or some of us have had a new loss with the new moon. There's been a lot of completions, a lot of endings, um, and the universe is truly tying up loose ends. So if you felt yourself this new moon in this sad energy, this energy of release, please remember that there are lots of beautiful things that you still have um, and that you can focus on instead of the past. Okay, so instead of focusing on what you had to let go, let's focus on the things that you um, still have in your possession and in the new possibilities that these spilled three cups open up. We have to make room for the new before the new can come in. The second card you have is renewal. So again, newness is definitely on its way to you with um, with the sacrifice. Whatever the sacrifice was that you had to make with this new moon <clears throat> and with the end of these retrogrades, you will be rewarded with a renewal of energy, vibrancy, creative passion, love, etc. The goddess guidance that you have is quiet time. It says, take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and to contemplate. So again, these things that you had to give up were likely very important to you. So now it's time for you to integrate the lesson as to why it is no longer in your possession or why things didn't turn out the way that you had wanted them to. Search for the lesson in whatever has happened um, for you specifically during this new moon um, cycle, this moon phase. Uh, and the final card you have is patience. Okay, what you desire and the things, um, essentially you are ushering in a new way of being. And this overload is going to take some patience in order to completely manifest, right? When uh, a new home is being built, you have to make sure that the, the structure is sound and that is going to take a while. So in the meantime, while you are waiting for whatever um, renewal or blessing you've been asking for, praying for and manifesting, remember to be patient and hopeful and to use the time wisely. Take some time um, for yourself to integrate these lessons and to really address the matters of your subconscious, address the things that have happened internally so that they don't taint the beautiful blessings that are on their way to you um, in 2019. All right. Group two is next. Group two. First card we have out for you is the Page of Pentacles. So the new moon is ushering in opportunities for you in regard to the physical plane, um, physical manifestations, foundations, perhaps a new job, a raise, a new love interest. Whatever it is, it is just at its beginning stage. Pages are the lowest of the court cards. Um, but it does indicate a time of bliss, plenty, okay? A time where new ideas are surely coming to you and asking to be acted upon. 
It will be your responsibility to decide if you do take the necessary actions to become a master of whatever new opportunity is being presented. Miracle. That is so beautiful. Miracle. You guys are um, perhaps with this new career-based opportunity or this new physical-based opportunity, perhaps this is the miracle that you've been waiting for. Perhaps this is the opportunity that is going to propel you forward. Um, group two, it looks like you guys have manifested new opportunities and as such, trust them. Trust in your own ability to call to you the life that you have always desired. There is a miracle either at your feet now or on its way shortly. Again, this pentacle here promising abundance, a new fresh start, a new direction. Inner wisdom, Athena, is your next card. And she says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take the appropriate action without delay. Okay, so you know what this miracle is, what this new opportunity is, what this prayer answered is. You know what this pentacle is that the page is holding on to so dearly. Whatever it is that you have been called and asked to do, now is the time for you to do it. That thing that popped into your head when... Um, when I was reading this, is a thing that you need to get on, okay? And you also have creativity. You have been blessed again with a new fire, a miraculous fire, and a new path or road to go down. Use your creative fire and your creative energy to, to propel yourself in, further in the direction of your desires, okay? This creativity card means that it, Anything you set your hands on is going to turn into gold. So don't wait any longer. You know that action is required on that, that thing that you've been waiting um, to start on. And now is the time group to All right, group three. Group three, you're next. Your first card is the world. This new moon offered in the ending of a cycle, the ending of a karmic relationship, of a job opportunity. Perhaps some of you have decided to start new relationships or end old relationships that were no longer serving you and to essentially get rid of the old. The world is... Again, a card of endings, but also of new beginnings. Without endings, there would be no new beginnings. And so if you find yourself thinking more of what has ended, know that there are things coming to you as well. That is the way of our universe, the ebb and the flow. Next, we have grief. So yes, Group three, a lot of you have had to let go of something. A lot has been taken away or removed. And as such, this grief might feel overwhelming. It might feel uncalled for. It might feel unfair. However, this is never the case. Things in this universe happen for us and not to us. So your guidance, again, is cycles and rhythms goddess Maeve. How appropriate. It says, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. If you're finding yourself um, feeling depressed or feeling like the world from this card is against you, feeling like you are being unfairly targeted with energy and emotions of sadness or seemingly unlucky relationships with others, please know that this is not going to last. Nothing lasts forever, the good times nor the bad times. So if you are finding yourself on a, a lower vibrational cycle, know that this is not going to last forever. 
and that once you learn the lesson that you are being asked to learn, more will come to you. Yes, we have healing here. Our final card is healing. So the new moon is ushering into you new opportunities to heal past hurt, to heal old wounds, um, to eradicate grief, and to end the cycles that have caused and exposed this grief. Again, we have just ended two very impactful retrogrades. The Mercury retrograde ended on the 6th, and the Venus retrograde had been going on for weeks um, beforehand. I think Venus ended and Mercury began. I say that to say that for group three and also for group one with some of this group three energy, things have been illuminated so that we can address them and usher in better opportunities, okay? More happiness, more growth, more expansion, um, and things that are more aligned with your personal vibration and your, your personal goals. All right, so I will be back with another video shortly, a mid-month check-in next week. I hope that this was helpful to you for all groups. It remains true that the universe for, is for you and so is everything in it. Let's remember not to panic, not to beat ourselves up, and to trust. All right. Thank you for tuning in. If you would like a personal reading, check the links in the description below. I hope you all are having a great December so far. Check out my other videos if they call to you and I will see you again soon. Bye.